Welcome to Stars Born, Don Juan. I feel like you know everything to do with what's about to happen. I think I know a little bit of it, <laughs> at least just a tad. <laughs> what inspired your look this evening, sir? Um, comfortable, mm -hmm. but you know, a little chic. Yes, a little but, Hollywood glam chic. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. This might be Atlanta glam <laughs> chic, but you know, a little you know, chic, but still comfortable and gotta run around, so something I feel comfortable working in. Hi. I mean, family's not here, we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. How do you really feel? Because this is, you're opening Pandora's box, so to speak. Why yes. you say that? Not in a bad way, but you're giving people a different way to completely view how family is. Oh. You know? I guess you're right. I mean, I never really thought about it that way. I mean, we were just more so just trying to figure out the best way to make sure we got a healthy baby here. I know. And um, I guess in in that, I guess we're teaching other people or showing other people how it can be done. Yeah. But it wasn't like that was our intention right. going into this. You look I amazing. I really wanted to wear some heels, but you know, since they said it's gonna be outside. Yes. I didn't want to be a mad diva tonight, so. <laughs> you didn't want to put the Atlanta on them. Mm -mm. Well, you know, they say come casual because we're having a like baby shower slash block party. Right. So I wanted to be comfortable. I just turned 56, 56 come on, three Mama weeks D. ago. So, Let you go. know, yes, I want to push through. I don't want nothing to hold me up like I'm walking on stilts, you know, on fives and dimes. I want to be able to walk through, baby, and push through. You heard me? Uh, you know, just the summer breeze, you know, the neon yellow, I have to be extra, I have to be popping and glowing uh -huh. because I have the extra personality to go along with this popping neon yellow, so <laughs> I had to wear the outfit to uh, match the personality loud. Always. <laughs> And while we're here, outfits, because you guys all look amazing. What was the inspiration for everything going on? Because these sneakers, I can't. Oh. Yeah. Hollywood. 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 I love. Casual. 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 I am your girl Candy and I'm about to speak on it. I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree. Well, we had the finale of the season 12 Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, I would have to say I felt like it was a great finale. It was my baby shower and it was awesome. We're here tonight at A Star Is Born, here at a back lot with a pink carpet, no less, for this beautiful baby to be. We are gonna see your favorite stars in some of the most glamorous outfits you've ever seen and what inspired them to wear it. Much love to my husband, Todd, and the team. They put together an amazing baby shower. I was super happy with, you know, what they put together. I say about it I mean I don't think that you guys really got to see you know how dope it was from the shots I mean basically we were on a movie studio and the part of the studio we were on it looked like it was a neighborhood block so like really it looked like we were just in somebody's neighborhood but we were at a movie studio and it was at the Aru Brothers studio and that was formerly the Tyler Perry studio that he had before the new one he just moved in there it was uh, really really cool um, it was a lot of glitz and glam red carpets, lights was up everywhere. It was really, really nice. And all my family and friends were there, so I was super excited about that. What inspired yeah. this look? Well, uh, a star is going to be born soon. It is. And um, Candy told us it was Hollywood glam, and mm -hmm. you know, I love everything about Hollywood you and sure everything do. about being glamorous, so. I you've achieved it, uh, yes. I have on this little Giovanni piece Ooh. that helped me, uh, you know, pull it all together. So, what inspired your look? <laughs> uh, 10 days postpartum, what fit in the closet and then was shiny. <laughs> 
Now, Candy said that the theme was A Star is Born, and anything t Candy touches turns to gold. So it was a very fitting theme, and in this group, we like our themes, and everybody likes to dress up. Yeah, and then what could fit? <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. And Dom, you look oh. Beautiful. Beautiful, babe. My okay. no, man, that is you. Come on. I was going powerful, yes? Uh, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself because the the baby shower is towards the end. So let me go back towards the beginning. So in the beginning of this episode, my um, they had a scene with my mother and I. And she was telling the story about how she was traumatized by this lunchbox. <laughs> I am not gonna lie to y'all. When I was actually in the scene, like, you know, they are able to like cut that down so short. But like in real life, that story was the longest story in history. I mean, it took her about 20, 30 minutes to tell that story about that lunchbox. So I was shocked that they was able to like cut it up and chop it down to be as fast as they did. But when I tell you, at first, when she first started telling the story, I was like, okay, where are we going with the story about the lunchbox? <laughs> and then when she started talking about the, the girl had took her lunch money, and then that's when she decided she could never trust nobody ever again in life. I was like... So, the lunchbox represents... Trust. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God. It was, I don't know, maybe it was more funny to me than it is to y'all because I was actually in the situation. But I just didn't even know how to respond because it was just at that time in our life, we were just going through a moment, I guess, you know, where she was just, had some concerns that she felt like I should have been um, dealing with, which I mean, it's always fair to have concerns when you're in a family. People always want to talk about wills and trust. Everybody don't always talk about it, but it's, sometimes it's something that you should talk about. But um, but the thing about it is, I think her way of getting to it uh, was just awkward at times. You know what I mean? And then it comes off as, okay, are you saying somebody's stealing from me because the girl stole your lunch money in elementary school? <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> that was just funny. That was funny, y'all. I mean, I don't even know what to say, but I love my mama. She cares about me and I understand where it comes from. But it just was like, at that time, it was just a weird situation. So um, what you guys didn't get to see, but was discussed on the show. So the day of my baby shower, my mother and I, we went out that morning. On our way back, we stopped to get something to eat. And Todd had already called me because he was going to stop also. Stop. You can't jump, please. I mean, I was stopping by the restaurant and then Todd said he was gonna stop by the restaurant with his friend, but he already had told me that he didn't really wanna um, go into like a big conversation or whatever with my mom that day, but I thought he was gonna at least come and say hello, right? So as me and my mother are sitting in the back of the restaurant, you know, I didn't even know that Todd actually came. He said he was coming, but I didn't know if he was actually gonna come while we were there. But he did, but we didn't know he was there. So basically the only reason why we had ended up finding out he was there at the same time as us is because his friend that was with him came back and said hello. So I'm like, how you gonna not come back and say hello to me and my mama, but your friend gonna say hello. At that point, my mom had an attitude. But when we was walking out the door, I guess we had was just leaving like right after he left so we could see him ahead of us in the parking lot. And he still didn't turn around to come speak to my mama. At that point, my mama was pissed and I was heated myself. Cause I'm like, regardless, I know y'all feel like, oh, but your mama be doing this, whatever. Like my mom is old school and I'm kind of old school in that way where I feel like Regardless of whatever, she's, you know, a mature, older woman and you're supposed to still give them respect, you know? When we left there, my mom was so pissed. She didn't say it in that moment, but I guess as she left, she got even madder. You know how I started boiling. And so basically she said she was not coming to the baby shower because if she did, 
she was gonna turn it out. And she didn't wanna show out at my baby shower cause she knew that the cameras and everybody was gonna be there. And she said she could, wasn't gonna be able to stop herself. So she just didn't even wanna come. So with that being said, I wanted my mom to come, but at the same time, I just was like, that was gonna take away from the moment. And really my intentions for that night was to, you know, like introduce Shadina to my family because all my family was there and they hadn't met Shadina yet. I know her! I miss you so much! I miss you! Come on! But we are here because the star is being born. Oh, yeah. You look beautiful as always. Tell me what inspired your outfit this evening. Well, I, I'd say it might be a little cool. So I said, but I better wear me a little jacket. Because I like this little lavender you, like you got in here. And you got this little mauve, deep mauve situation. This is beautiful. You like it? Yeah, and you comfortable. I'm very, That's really important. very, very. Is it not important? And I'm warm. The pink carpet. Because we have a baby girl that's being born. It's so beautiful. Are you excited about having a baby girl? Oh, I am. I'm just, oh, I am. I can't wait. You know, and I was just trying to make it a positive situation. Clearly, it still didn't end up a totally positive situation because it was the arguments that was going on between Nini and Kenya. And that's all that y'all saw. It was still a whole nother disagreement that they didn't even show. So I'm gonna give y'all a, a little bit of background about it because, okay, I think I'm gonna tell the truth here. I didn't get to watch the episode before I sat down with Andy and Marlo for Watch What Happens Alive. I'm sorry. So basically, me answering the questions were just based off of my own recollection and memory of what happened, not based off what you guys saw in the show. At the time they were doing that arguing and stuff, I was actually on the stage trying to, you know, get everybody together to present me and do other stuff. There was a lot of conversation about what happened um, when Kenya was at um, Portia's event, at the March of Dimes event. And for some reason, they felt like Kenya was trying to throw shade at Portia by mentioning to um, Shamia that, um, hey, stop it. Stop it. You're making noise. Now, you want to go back over there with your daddy? No? Okay, we'll stop acting up. Everybody was saying that Kenya was trying to throw shade at Portia because she had mentioned something about... Um, Shamia calling her when her water broke or something like that. Just to give y'all some extra information that they did not show. Okay, there was actually another confrontation at my baby shower. Um, outside of what happened with Nini and Kenya, Shamia and Portia um, wanted, you know, basically were having the conversation with Kenya about, you know, the March of Dies event and why did Kenya say what she said and Shamia was saying something about it not being true that she had texted her or whatever while she, you know, when her water broke. They were saying whatever with each other, but then Kenya brought out her text message and basically when she pulled it up, there was some text between her and Shamia um, at some point before the baby was born. I'm not on the day of, but um, I guess she had text to see how Shamia was doing or something and Shamia uh, was like, oh, well, I'm actually at the doctor's office right now. I'm, you know, I felt it's a little fluid or something was leaking or something that she was concerned about. At that point, a, a few of us that, you know, if she read it in front of, we, I was just kind of like, okay, so what are we arguing about here exactly? Because no, she, you didn't say your water broke, but you said something about some fluid leaking and that you were concerned. So she could have easily gotten that story, that mixed up with as, as being the same moment. You get what I'm saying? So I just was kind of like, I didn't understand what the big deal was, especially because overall, the three of them, Kenya, Portia, Shamia, they were all pregnant at the same time. And so they were having a better relationship. I mean, you guys know that um, Portia came to Kenya's baby shower and was supportive of her, um, vice versa. You know, they were 
um, actually, you know, reestablishing a friendship during that time. And because Shamia was also pregnant, her and Kenya was talking more. No, her relationship with Kenya was not more important or more special than her relationship with Portia by no means. They just were having more talks because they both were pregnant at the same time and literally their delivery dates was only a couple weeks apart. If you understand for somebody on the outside looking in like me, this is not me taking or picking sides. This is just me saying I feel like that story was kind of blown out of proportion because I just feel like it didn't seem to me like Kenya was trying to make it seem like her relationship was more special with Shamia and then Portia's. It just seemed like she felt connected with Shamia during that time because they were talking more over text because they was pregnant at the same time. I don't know. That story it was just it was just a little weird to me. I don't know, girls. I, I think that was a weird reason for you guys to not um, get along or to have a falling out. I feel like that was just a misunderstanding. It's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. So overall, it was just like, um, this, I felt like the episode was a really good episode. Obviously, it ended at my um, baby shower and I'm thankful that everybody came and everybody was supportive and oh my gosh Eva even brought her baby oh my god and honestly I was shocked that she brought the baby because the baby was only like a few weeks old I guess uh, right at four weeks old when she brought him to the baby shower and um but we were also happy to see him um the whole family she brought her whole, you know the whole family with her I was appreciative of that I was appreciative everybody came yeah what time is it right <laughs> I love it when people say that. Okay, first of all, you always look absolutely amazing. You say that to all the girls. No, I don't. Thanks. <laughs> Very honest. You look amazing, so please tell me Thank what you're wearing. You. What inspired this this evening? Um, well, they said Hollywood glam. Hi. And that can be anything, because you go to Hollywood, and you'll see a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Sure. But I went with the bold shoulder pad. Mm, you know, I'm Very channeling. Hollywood glam. Yes. Yes, you give you a you very know? nice, ugh, I know what I'm talking about, I fellas. felt like that. <laughs> and so I thought I was, you know, a little bit of B. Arthur, but a little bit of pizzazz on top. Nice. And then, you know what? You just never know when you need to, like, check someone. Come on. Shoulder pads. One more time, so, one more time know. with the, <laughs> So that's kind of what I went for. I love you, and shoes, Thank you. please. Oh, these are some Tom Fords. Beautiful. A little sparkle, and you know? And it's very simple, yet not, yeah. as you know? you all, yes. You know, and of course, the <laughs> iridescent Chanel that's with a little beautiful. purple. So uh, that was what, that was it. Uh, you look stunning. Uh, thank you. Oh, no, you look phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, Please tell you. me your inspiration you. for your outfit, whom it's by. Oh my God, this is Tom Ford, and yeah. I was inspired by a star is born, honey. So I thought, honey, I need to look like a star. I need the glitz and glam. I hear you. Hollywood star, she said. I was like, okay. You like a theme. Yes, I, I love understand. A, I love it. a good thing. Listen, <laughs> get to go out and shop just because. <laughs> yeah. Marlo, come on in here. You look I beautiful as well. <laughs> Please yeah. tell me what you're wearing because you look amazing. You know what? Who is my dress by? Okay, I think it's by. I don't face. know who my yeah. dress is by, as a matter of fact. Um, I am doing, oh, I was told, Hollywood mm -hmm. chic, yes. but dressed down with flats. So I have my No, the, the flats are blinged out. No, I absolutely love them. And then I have my flats. My just They're perfect. <laughs> and a mink is always Hollywood. Because it is chilly. Oh, yes, Atlanta it is. It's finally got it's a little real. cold. I like it though. And um, it was kind of cool that everybody was able to come and unfortunate that they had the like, almost like going at each other. Cause I just felt like, what is going on with Kenya and Nene anyway? I mean, is it at a point that they could just agree to not agree and just not argue? I mean, I just kind of was annoyed because they were arguing at my baby shower, which I felt like, uh, hello, this is my moment to share with not just you, but my family as well. So I was just kind of like, Ugh. they are taken away from all this hard work that my husband put in to make this an amazing event for me. And with that being said, my husband is excellent at putting together all these events because it's just like a production for him and he, that's what he do. I put the pink carpet out. Didn't quite have the Hollywood Walk of Fame stars, but I had some stars on the ground for my daughters, my son Ace, my wife, my family. Production. Just to be clear, after the baby shower, um, there was still a little turmoil in my family, even after ter um, taping was over for a little while. My mom was still upset, angry. Um, her and Todd wasn't speaking until the day that Blaze was born. 
I'm really happy because now my mom's been coming over to visit. You know, she wasn't visiting us before. But now you visit. Yeah, I'm only I've only missed one day and that was my doctor's <laughs> day. She's gonna blaze a new era for our family. She's bringing the family together. <laughs> Yeah. That's what Todd and I, I can already see a new relationship with him and I. Praise the Lord. It's already started. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Because what y'all don't see on camera, boy, David's like not getting along lately. But well, prior to prior. Blaze getting here. Well, it was months back, but now it's been months. Y'all much... weren't talking before Blaze got well, here. Well, I said. Well, prior to we're prior to blaze. It don't matter. But they now, good now. We are good. And Praise I, the and Lord. Thank, thank you, Jesus. I'm just thankful that this has been a blaze has bring brought a whole new perspective to our family and to the love. And I we all see that love has just come into our family, and she has brought it into our family. And we know that that. <laughs> You know, it, it just only take. You know, we all not gonna be here forever, and I know right. I'm not gonna be here forever. And let bygones be bygones, and and I just wanna love on my family and be here for my family. So when Blaze was born, they both decided to just let bygones be bygones. They just. It was like a happy family all over again. And so I was really, really happy about, about that because it's just like, you know, Blaze kind of brought the joy back into the family where everybody could get along and everybody could be at peace. You know what I mean? And really show love to one another. So yeah, I guess that took like, it probably was like, Blaze was probably born like a month and a half after the baby shower. So it probably was like a good four to six weeks of tension. <laughs> But we good, we good, we good now. Thank the Lord, they're good. Uh, my mom's a little mad at me right now, but we're gonna be good too. Anyway, it's always a story going on in this family when we taping and when we not taping. So that's the craziness of what I deal with. Ace, come here right quick, sweetheart. You, come here. You were on the TV show this Sunday. So, you know what you were talking about on the TV show? You want me to tell you? Sit on mama's lap. It was before Blaze was born and we were still trying to figure out her name. Remember the other name that we were thinking about using for Blaze? Yeah. What was Blaze. it? Blaze. Blaze and what was the other name? Banks. Remember that? It was Blaze or Banks. Aren't you glad you won? Yeah. <laughs> Ace, what do you want to name your baby sister? Blaze. Wow. Blaze. Ooh, I like that. That's fine. That's fine. So Ace was saying Blaze from the beginning. You guys saw an earlier episode in the season where he said Blaze. But then Riley had talked him into liking Banks. So then he started saying, no, we're going to go with Banks. But then he changed his mind back to Blaze, as you saw in the episode. You won. So how are you and Blaze getting along? Are you a good big brother? Yeah. Yes, you are, right? Yeah. You're the best big brother in the old wide world. Um, the kids are great. Everybody's getting along fine. And with that being said, this is the end of the Real Housewives season, but you can still catch up with me and my family on my YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel, Candy Online. Just subscribe, okay? As well as Ace has a YouTube channel, Ace Plays and Giveaways. Subscribe to his channel. And Todd has just started his own YouTube channel, and it's Todd Tucker TV. And everybody, I don't know if you know, but you should know that Riley already had a YouTube channel, and it, hers is just Riley Burris. So everybody, please follow, subscribe, like, share, comment on our videos, and yeah. We're going to keep you posted until the next season comes and we can share with you what we got next, right? Because we got a lot to share. Now, guess what? What? It's time to go to play. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. This week, we are supposed to be taping the reunion. Lord, I know I'm going to be having lots to talk about when that airs. So until then, thanks for watching. Speak on it. I had already heard. I can turn a shade tree into a money tree. What's up, Candy and Ty? I want to congratulate you guys on another beautiful, healthy baby girl. Can't wait to meet her because Candy knows um, I love babies. So I want to wish y'all all the many blessings and 
you I bet this baby's gonna bring you guys. Yes, ma'am. You see this little thing here? You guys are up next. Tell them, tell them congratulations. Congratulations. Hello, Candy. Coming to you live from your baby shower. Okay, so I can't believe you're having a baby. And I'm so extremely happy for you and Ty. You know y'all is my family. I love y'all to death. Sweet little darling baby girl. I can't wait to meet you so we can turn up. And you are going to have to be tough because Ace and Carter are your big brothers. And they are going to try to fight you. But we got your back. Anyway, Candy, Ty, love you. A lot of emotions centered around this. Like, what are the thoughts? What do you think? Is it like an explosion in your mind? Not really. Yeah? I mean, I knew sis was coming, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> once sis get here, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. this is different. This is different. For sure. Mm -hmm. How you feel? Yeah, same. Same? How you yeah. So, do you have a preference? I honestly don't have a preference. I mean, between Blaze and Banks, I think both names are dope. They are really dope. I suggested them both. <laughs> so... <laughs> you know, I'm like, I can't lose. But if you I, had a favorite, what would you pick? You know, at first I was really like, Blaze sounded more girly. Okay. To me, Banks sounds a little bit more like a boy's name. Really? It's actually the name that was uh, our alternate name that we were thinking about for Ace mm -hmm. when he was born. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel good. Yeah? I feel good. I'm excited for them. This is a nice event for this special baby. Oh, wonderful. And so, yeah, I feel great. The last of the Burris Tucker clan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they're here, but what, do, what, what warm wishes would you like to give them about the child that you're carrying? Um, I'm just happy that, you know, I'm excited that they're able to bring another baby in this world to help their family grow. I mean, I'm all in support of women having babies and, you know, I'm just excited that I was able to be the one to help Candy. I would say continue to inspire your children the same as you inspire everyone else in all that you do. So continue to do the same for your family and continue to push them to further the legacy. Any warm wishes you'd like to send Candy and Todd? Oh, for sure. Um, I adore them. I am so happy and excited for them to add <clears throat> this new addition to their family. Uh, I'm surrounded by kids these days. Everybody around me in the crew is having babies. So I am uh, getting my auntie on and I can't wait to meet the beautiful um, Candy Burris collaboration. <laughs> oh, I, I just, she, she you really want to go through this again. I do, come on, give it to me. Oh, but she gonna be the best mom. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's just a great person. And uh, the baby's so lucky. Hmm. To have Ken for her mom. Yeah. Because Ken is such a sweet lady. She is. She really she, is. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. Uh, Candy and Todd, I am so happy for you. Um, I'm happy to actually have been going on this voyage with you and this journey to this new baby. Um, the baby has no idea how lucky and blessed they are to be born to parents like you and big sisters like Kayla and Riley. And I just wish you the most amazing, well, delivery, even though you're not delivering. And I'm still jealous of the snapback, but it's all okay. Congratulations. I'm so excited. Yay, new baby. So much. I mean, I just wish them the best. Like, they're such a beautiful, powerful couple. Uh, so inspiring and motivating that, God, they just... They just, you know, just make my heart flutter, you know? They're amazing. I'm just excited for them, you know? I'm so excited for Candy and Todd. I cannot wait till this true miracle baby and blessing comes so that we just have another baby in the crew. It's just, it is a wonderful blessing and I wish them the best and I don't know, I'm just giving like IOU babysitting hours. <laughs> I feel like that's a so gift. So is that what you're giving them? Is yes. that your gift? What do you give them the mom and dad that have everything? Very and true. these like Candy and Todd are like the epitome of the boss mom and dad, right? Really so are. time is the ultimate gift. Oh uh, I wish you guys nothing but the best with this little girl and I hope she reminds you of oh. Marlo and Dr oh, No, it's a uh, girl. A girl. A pink girl. 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 Yeah, girl. Okay, with this little girl. I hope she's, she's such girl. a diva like myself. 
and drives you cr absolutely crazy. No, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Congratulations. I know she's going to make plenty, plenty money. So I have nothing to worry about. Love you guys. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you, ladies. Have a wonderful thank evening. Well, I love them dearly. I love Ace. And I'm so excited about their new bundle of joy they were going to have. And I'm just ready to enjoy life with them. Very nice. So I know she's excited. They want to go ahead and complete their family so they can enjoy their lives together. So I'm excited. I would like to say congratulations on your new bundle of joy. You are already an amazing mom. I know it's only going to get better. You're going to love something about them girls. They melt your heart. You know, you get to play, do the fun mommy and me stuff all over again. So I wish you the best. Play dates in the future. Oh, my my God, the best wishes is like I know they're gonna be amazing parents. I am so happy for her. Like that's my girl, and they deserve all the happiness and blessings that come their way. Yeah, you know, cause she loves to see people happy, and she helps all her friends in any kind of way. If it's giving them jobs, whatever it is, she got. Them. So I'm happy to be her friend, okay? And happy to celebrate this special moment. Any wishes that you want to send yes, Katie and Todd? Yes. And most of all, patience. Because yeah. we get older. When we get older, we don't have it all the time. Because, you know, for all the blessings that God has blessed me with, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, they didn't give me no patience. So I have to work through this. You know, I have to push through it. For sure. Yeah. All the time. And God is what? Good what? All, all the, the time. time. Hello. Yeah. I wish you... Ugh, a lifetime of smiles, hugs, falls, scrapes, because you need all those to be an awesome individual human being. And you guys have already been creating these in your little factories already. So just continue to love and continue to inspire them in only the way that I know you guys know how to do. And I love you guys so much. Love you.